what Roscoe has created uh, in my softening light uh, course, I show brush silk and how brush silk, you're able to spin it and actually controls the beam of the light. And I thought to myself, wow, that's kind of cool. But what if I have three 18Ks and I need to be able to make it feel like it's one source? How can I do that? Well, I use the brush silk and this uh, OptiSculpt is the same thing. You can see that it has these strands in it. So when the strands are this way, the light will go this way. It will go vertical. If the strands are vertical, the band of light goes horizontal. So let's go ahead and fire up the just one light in there, just the center one. Okay. And uh, Alex, where you want to be, oh, sure. Take that, put it like this, back it away. Yeah, there you go. You can see, look at the beam. The beam is going vertical. Now rotate. Now the beam is going horizontal. So now what this can do is now fire up two more lights. And I want to see if I see three shadows. No, I don't. Because if you look over here, it's taken all three of those heads and turned them into a perfect band of light. Or not. <laughs> so is that all three? That's all three. Okay. Okay. So you can see that beautiful band. Now go ahead and rotate it again. So if you want less wrap on Kira, now you can really see the three individual lights when we go vertical. But the minute you rotate that the other direction, go ahead and rotate it, guys. It now becomes one line of light and one source. Now take those things down to 1%. That's, uh, that's 1%. Okay, now drop it out so they can see. Those are the three light sources. Now take it back up. And now let's look at that quality and see how that light quality changes as they rotate it. So let's look at her nose shadow right here. Okay, now rotate. And rotate again. What are you seeing, Tom? Yeah, it's shifting down and up and it's getting longer. It's, it's getting longer, so it's getting, it's wrapping more. It's, it's wrapping more. Mm. So this is a very unique gel that I have been using to, be, to basically join massive, large 18Ks where I need at least two or three 18Ks blowing into an interior to balance to the exterior. This gives me the ability to create one shadow with three lights. All right, let's drop this out, kill that. Thank you so much. All right, so that concludes our quality of light lab where we've taken all these different qualities of light. I've seen these in the wild, trying to recreate those and using them in an onset experience. Welcome to our light quality laboratory. And I have my amazing gaffer, Tom, and we are going to dive into so many different light qualities, it's gonna blow your mind. What if we took spot globes that have a 20 degree spot on them and put them in a line and there's absolutely no multiple shadows? it becomes one source. All right, let's kill the Xenon. Let's get the beadboard out. And now we're gonna take foam to the next level. We've taken all of this and now it fires into the Depron, bounces all around inside, 
and creates this super soft light. Let's just wreck it so everyone can understand what's going on. Yeah, look at that. That light quality is absolutely amazing.